Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching ASX Tutorials. And in this video, we are going to learn about arrow functions. So let's get started. To create a function in JavaScript, we use the function keyword. And the syntax looks like the following. So we write the function keyword, followed by the name of the function, which can be anything, let's say foo. Then we have the opening closing parentheses, and then we have some arguments. And then we have the opening closing curly brackets. And inside that we have the function body. Let's go ahead and create a greetings function that will print hello world in the console. So let me go ahead and remove this and we'll create a function called greetings. And it will console.log hello world. So in order to execute this code, which is inside this greetings function, we call or invoke the greetings function. So we write the name of the function and we call it using the parentheses. And now if we run the code, we get hello world. We can achieve the same result by creating a variable and assigning an anonymous function to it and then invoking that function. So let me go ahead and comment this one out. Now we are going to create a variable var greetings and we are going to assign an anonymous function and the function will print the same message hello world now in order to execute this function we'll again call the greetings function and now if we run the code we get back the same result and this time we're using anonymous function in es6 we can create functions using arrow function syntax arrow function syntax looks like the following we have the opening closing parentheses then we can have arguments which is optional then we have equal sign followed by greater than sign which looks like an arrow and then we have the opening closing curly brackets and inside the curly brackets we have the body of the function so if we want to transform this greetings function using arrow function syntax then we can do something like the following we can drop the function keyword and we put a equal greater than sign and now we have an arrow function and it's going to print the same result when we execute it and that's how we create an arrow function simple now let's say we want to pass an argument to our function so let's say we have the same greetings function and this time we want to pass a name to that function. And when we invoke the greetings function, it is going to print out a message. So our argument will be a name and we will console.log hello name. Now, if we invoke or call the greetings function with a name as an argument, and run this code we'll get hello and the name in this case hello yusuf all right let's go ahead and change this greetings function using es6 arrow function syntax so let's go ahead and comment this out now i'm going to use the const keyword which will create a constant and our function name will be greetings now, if you want to learn more about const var or let keyword, I have created a video. You can check that out. The link will be in the video description as well as in the info card. And to give a small summary about it, const is used to create a variable that will hold a value that cannot be changed. So it is actually creating a constant. So in this case, we are creating a greetings function. And 
we are going to use anonymous function and that function will be an arrow function and it is going to take name as an argument so we'll pass name as an argument and an arrow function will have equal and greater than sign then opening closing curly brackets and semicolon and inside the body of the function we'll write console.log and hello same thing name and greetings now if we run this code we get hello Yusuf now there is another way to simplify this message printing part here we are concatenating a string and a value we can also use template literals so we can actually drop this and we can use backticks same message hello dollar sign opening closing curly brackets and name and this will again print the same result hello Yusuf so in this case I'm using template literal and I have created a video about this one as well and so the link will be in the video description so please check that out all right so we have transformed our greetings function from this to this using arrow function syntax next we are going to learn how to pass multiple arguments and by the way if we have only one single argument then in that case we can drop the opening closing parentheses and if we save the code and run it again we'll get the same result so it's like a short end all right let's go ahead and create an add function which will take two arguments x and y and will return the sum of x and y so we'll write something like function add x comma y and we are going to return x plus y now let's add 1 and 2 so we are going to call or invoke this add function and we'll pass 1 comma 2 and if we run this code we'll get 3 as an output all right now let's go ahead and transform this add function using ES6 arrow function syntax so let's go ahead and comment this out and we are going to use the const keyword to create an add function and we'll have the opening closing parentheses and it is going to take two arguments x comma y and we'll have the arrow and then the opening closing curly brackets and semicolon and the body of the function is going to return the sum so we'll use the return keyword x plus y and we are again going to invoke this function and let's pass one and two and we run the code we get back the same result now an interesting point to note if we only have one single statement in our function body and that statement is a return statement then we can drop this opening closing curly brackets so we'll do something like this and we can also drop the return keyword so this is a short form for the previous code so we are actually saying that we are going to take in two arguments x and y and we are going to add them and we'll return the value so now if we run the code we'll again get the same result and this is only applicable if our function our arrow function has one statement and it's a return statement and if we have multiple statements then in that case we cannot use this we have to use the curly brackets all right let's do a small recap before we end this video so we started with this our simple function called greetings and we used the function keyword so we have a greetings function and when it is called it prints out hello world now to transform this using arrow function syntax we did the following 
we used the const keyword and we gave it a name which is greetings and we assigned an anonymous function using arrow function syntax so we dropped the function keyword we retained the opening closing parentheses and since it's an arrow function so we have added the equal and greater than sign which looks like an arrow and we have the opening closing curly brackets and then the body of the function which is just console.log hello world all right moving on so we want to create a function that takes an argument. So in this case, we have a function greetings that takes an argument name and it prints out a message using that argument. So we come up with this code where we have used the function keyword. Now to transform this code using ES6 arrow function syntax, we have to write something like the following. So we have the const keyword name of the function which is greetings equal sign and it is assigned an anonymous function which is using arrow function syntax and it takes one single argument name we have the arrow sign and the opening closing curly brackets and the body of the function which is printing out hello world and we are using template literals now if we have only one single argument then we can transform this into this so we have the same const greetings and this time since we have only one single argument so we have dropped the parentheses so we have name arrow sign curly brackets and body of the function so if our function is just going to take one single argument we can drop the parentheses but if a function takes no argument then we have to retain the parentheses all right moving on let's say we have a function that takes two arguments and in this case we have an add function which takes x and y and returns the sum of x and y so it uses the return keyword x plus y now in order to transform this into an arrow function we will write something like this so we'll use the const keyword name of the function which is add and we have the arrow function which takes two argument x comma y arrow sign opening closing curly brackets and the body of the function contains the return keyword and then x plus y and if the function has only one single statement and that statement is a return statement then we can simplify this into this so we have again the same thing const name of the function add and it takes two argument x comma y and we have dropped the return keyword and we have also dropped the curly brackets and this says that we have a function that takes two argument x and y and it returns x plus y all right guys this brings us to the end of this video the notes of this video will be there on my website dyclassroom.com you will find the link in the youtube video description so please check that out and if you find this video interesting, then please like this video and subscribe my channel and click that bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.